What is up everybody? Today on our homestead, we are doing a well water filter system. So when Liz and I first moved to this property, one of the very first things we did was have a well drilled. We actually have two wells drilled. Um, I'll put a card up here. You can go and check out that video and see the whole situation on that. As of right now, we only have one of those wells hooked up. We dug our water line in months ago. We have it coming through our concrete into our pressure tank with the pump saver and pressure switch. This pump tech pump saver um, senses, senses if the voltage drops and shuts your pumps off if the uh, well were to run dry or jam up or something like that. Then we, we've got our cold water line running to a T right here to go into our water heater. This is an instant hot water heater. I think it's 43 kilowatts. Pretty big. Um, let's see, what does it say on the side here? Uh, 36 kilowatts. So this thing pulls quite a bit of power, but we're okay with it because we are grid tied. We went with the 400 amp service since we are building a shop at the moment. We didn't want to run out of any power, um, you know, with any of our shop equipment. So we went with the big hot water heater. But what we need to do is get a filter system on this. We have just been running it, pulling it straight from the well. Um, it's probably not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the best thing in the world. When we installed this pipe, cutting into the black poly pipe, we did know that it had um, like a film of rust in there. We knew that it was gonna have high iron in the water. The well driller did tell us this area has high iron, so we are expecting that. But what we got going on today is we have three of the big blue, I think it's a 20 inch filter, and we're gonna install that with a sediment filter right before that. All right guys, let's see what we got going on here. This looks like it is all the housings, perfect. So this is what we need first. This should be our sediment filter and carbon filter. Man, I hope those are the right size. Those seem a little short. We'll see. All right, so it looks like this is our pre-filter here. Few fittings. Very nice. Okay. Check out these directions. The sticker. got in this little tool set here since we got the right fittings. Get closer here. big
Come on, Jed. All right, guys, so we went and we got the rest of the supplies that we needed, and there also is a little bit of a different backdrop. We're trying to juggle everything in between here, but let's get back to finishing this filter system.
All right, now that we have all the plumbing done and hooked up, we're gonna put these filters in it and see if we got any leaks. Okay, we did have a little leak to begin with, but we got it all buttoned up. It was just one of the hose clamps it was kind of janky on there. It wasn't quite perfectly straight. But what we ended up going with here is, well, let's start in the very beginning. We went with just a basic pre-filter, sediment filter, before it hits everything, before it hits the tank and the switches and everything. So we went with that. It's got a drain on the bottom. Um, reusable filter. You just wash that out when that is dirty. This one here is also just a sediment filter. I don't know the microns, but it's just a paper filter to catch any small debris in the water. Then we move to our second canister. This has a carbon filter in it. I think it's a coconut shell carbon filter, 20 inch. Then it comes out of that and moves to its final filter, which is also a carbon filter. So we essentially have two sediment filters and two carbon filters. Goes in there, does its thing, comes out, tees down into our PEX line right here. And that T then goes to the water heater, out of the water heater, and then continuing from the cold T, it services the rest of the building. So we're stoked to have that in. Currently, we're only pulling off of well number one. It's pretty decent water. It's a little irony. We did notice a little bit of rust sediment um, inside the pipe when I was cutting it apart but it's still pretty good water. It's very reassuring to have a filter on it, especially those carbon filters. Those are supposed to be very good filters. We're pretty stoked on that. We've been drinking this water all summer long, but it's a little bit of reassurance to know that it's now finally 100% safe to drink and use and shower in and all that stuff. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.